Obviously it went reasonably well, because I'm here. The thing I always uh, get asked is, um, is how to deal with the fact that you um, haven't necessarily studied the things um, uh, already, that you have no experience of the languages or the literature or even the history um, that you'll, you will study as part of ASMAC. Don't worry about that at all. It was completely okay that I didn't have any kind of background in ASNAC. I wasn't expected to. I was able to approach all of my languages from scratch and that's something that ASNAC is very emphatic about. Because ASNAC things aren't things that you can do at school, we're not looking for people who've already studied the Middle Ages formally. It's, it's the kind of way that you've followed up your, your personal interest. A really crucial thing is to look to what the course involves. What are the things that are on offer? What papers can you, can you choose? Rather than a, a rather general, oh, I really love the Anglo-Saxons, or I, I really love the Vikings, but I haven't read anything about them. It's, it's easy on the internet these days to search for things to read, go to your local library, go even to your school library, maybe find things, find a saga to look at. Look at uh, uh, the ASNAC website has lots of um, leads for things that you could you can follow up to read, suggested at preliminary reading. Um, come ready to talk about it. Come ready to, to enthuse. Ready to talk about the things that have interested you. You know you're interested in this subject, so find the bits that you think are fun and and learn about them. There's not any particular book that you have to read, but if if you can find a way to show that you really are interested in this material um, and you can talk a little bit about how you express that interest, so it might be by doing some independent reading or going to a museum or a historical site. We don't ask that you take lots of time or money or go on expensive trips or anything, but we want, we want genuine, um, genuine interest on your part because although what we study is incredibly fun, it is it will be hard work. We, we do take these interesting subjects and tackle them in a rigorous way. I'm great interview. I would say interviews are not as scary as you think. They're a really great opportunity to talk to people who are experts at what they do. And so it's just you and them in a room and you can ask questions if you want to, you can talk about things that excite you. That's the main thing I think, talk about things that excite you because at the end of the day, the academics want to know that they can teach you. So there's no point going in there saying, oh, I've learnt all of these things. No, they want to see that you can think on your feet and really engage in the material. I was concerned that every other candidate applying for ASNAC was somebody who had read far more extensively than me, who had translated whole passages full of Old English by themselves already. And that certainly wasn't necessary, that certainly wasn't the case. It's advisable to have literature uh, or history or a language, but even if you don't, don't necessarily rule ASNAC out, just demonstrate that you have the skills uh, in the application, essentially. We expect that you'll have some, um, some marks in, say, English or history. You don't need any particular foreign languages, but because you would be studying foreign languages um, when you get here, it's good to have some evidence that you know a bit about grammar or that you uh, could easily learn that kind of thing. The interview was really nice. Um, Dr. Dance and Dr. Rowe were very nice and obviously it went reasonably well because I'm here. Don't be afraid to apply if your background is maybe slightly different than what you think ASNAC is looking for because it's more about the skills and the way that you think rather than the fact that you know. I turned up with this passion and this very clear enthusiasm for ASNAC as a subject and that's what the interviewers are looking for, they're looking for somebody who is truly excited.